Every time I do a bone broth fast, I get massive results and I just feel inclined to share the experience with you guys. I don't want to be the bone broth guy per se because there's tons of other guys out there that have a lot of bone broth knowledge and I'm just a guy that does the bone broth intermittent fasting and I get results. But anyways, I'm on day number four and I've lost a lot of weight. I'm straining my voice just talking. I'm on really low, low calories. It's been four days I haven't eaten anything and I'm having a hard time maintaining my energy just to make this vlog video. But I just want to give you guys an update. Oh, by the way, if you're getting value from this video already, please hit that subscribe button and like this video. I really appreciate it. It does help out my channel and um, yeah, so let's go back to the video. I'm not gonna lie, there is something that I did that helped me get through four days of drinking bone broth. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I did and what my secret was, which I lied about. I'm gonna tell you guys what that is at the end of the video. This has been actually the easiest bone broth fast I've ever done because I'm managing it a lot easier. Baby, I'm tired of drinking bone broth. God, I am so hungry. I don't know if I can do this anymore. Oh, I want to eat something so bad. My weight goes up and it goes down. It's just constantly fluctuating um, throughout the year, but they've been fluctuating on an upward scale. Like I was at 133 a long time ago, and then I went up to 143, and then 153, and then at like 161, which is the highest I've ever been in my entire life, and it's embarrassing to even talk about it, but I was really overweight. Check out the results. You guys wanna see how bloated I was? Take a look at this picture. I felt super heavy. I was embarrassed by my weight. I got made fun of a lot by my family, but I have a really good high self-esteem and I don't care. <laughs> I know I'm heavy, I know I'm overweight. For my age, weight, and height, I know that I have been on the overweight side and I've been struggling with my weight for many years and bone broth seems to always be that reset button that I need. It just, it's a jump start to my fitness. My plan is to be in better shape this year. My plan is to feel good. My plan is to have rock solid abs again. Take a look at this photo. Look at my abs, they were washboard abs. You can wash whatever you want on these bad boys. <laughs> well, that's how I used to look. And I'm on my way to looking like that again. You know what, when you're going through this phase where you know you're overweight and you know you need to lose some weight. When you look in the mirror and what you see is a really large person, you need to love that person on the other side. You gotta love that reflection. You need to say, I love you. You are amazing. You are healthy. You are strong. You are beautiful. You gotta love your body. You gotta love yourself no matter what. Okay, and tell yourself that you have the best body that you've ever had in a long time. This is the healthiest you have ever been and you are working your way towards better health and better well-being. You gotta say that to the reflection. If you're starting to use negative words like I am fat, which I used to say a lot to myself, I'm like, man, I'm fat, but then I become more fat. I get fatter and fatter. Uh, and if I say I don't like my body, I look gross. Look how disgusting I look. I hate this angle. I can't put on my pants anymore. My shirt don't fit. I'm always touching my gut. I don't want people to see my gut. I was really self-conscious about me being heavy. I think I had the idea of that, oh, I'm this American Ninja Warrior, super strong, fit guy, but then I'm like super heavy, 20 pounds heavier. I had a weird identity issue. I love my body. I like my body and I love it so much that I'm willing to give it the nutrition that it needs. And drinking bone broth, there's tons of benefits. There's um, the collagen helps with your skin. It helps improve digestion, mental clarity. There's so many benefits. I'll link in the description below to, to my seven benefits of doing bone broth fasting. I really gotta start really slow when I start eating again because my stomach has been resting for four days. 
And guys, I need to slow down my energy because in this video, my energy is really high, but just by doing that alone, I'm losing calories. I'm dropping calories just by talking a lot. <sighs> I'm just giving you guys a update on my four day bone broth fast. And I wanna encourage you guys to just try it yourself. It's not that bad. What have I been lying about this whole time? Okay, so I haven't been drinking just bone broth only for the four days. One night, which was day number two, my girlfriend said, I'm hungry, let's go out to eat, and what should we eat? I mentioned chicken noodles. I'm like, I'm so hungry, I want some noodles. So she decided to order some chicken pho. I don't know, I don't know if you guys know what pho is, but it's basically a bowl of chicken noodles and it tastes so good. So she ordered that. I took half of the noodles and put it off into a bowl and I put just half of that soup in there and added just a little bit of chicken in there. When I was eating that meal, it was really small by the way, it was like very, very small portion. I was chewing a lot. I was basically, as I was eating the chicken and I was eating the noodles, I was chewing it until there was basically like nothing left in my mouth and then I swallowed the food. And the reason why I did that is because it makes it easier for digestion. If you just eat a lot and you take like chunks of food and you just swallow it, now your stomach has to work a little harder to break all that down. So I did that on day number two and I and I also on day number three, but it was at nighttime though. So just before going to bed, I would eat just a little bit because when I go to bed where I'm 100% hungry, I cannot sleep very well and it messes with me. So I eat just a tiny bit just to go to sleep at night. But when I wake up in the morning, I dropped a pound or two pounds. So I went from one I went from 161 all the way down to 155. So anyways, I just wanted to give you an update on me doing another fast. And I know I don't wanna be the bone broth guy per se, but I like sharing my results with you guys. I like sharing my experience with you guys. And I want to encourage you to do the same thing. So anyways, guys, stay strong, keep going, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.